my name is Kate Wilder. I've got a master's in criminal psychology. I'm an investigative journalist and hope to make a difference. You may have recently seen my interview on Chicago AM on Ticketed House. Ah, yeah, fast forward that shit. Uh, and, uh, Welcome to episode uh, yeah, two. It's really tough when just being honest means everyone thinks you're a bitch. <laughs> now you are a bitch. Sure, of the devil in me. Everyone. I don't know if she's a bitch. I, I'm working on it. I... I'll shut up. I'll let hey, it talk. I'm Mark. I uh, study photography at UCLA. Um, I'm hi, Mark. Time. Really want to oh, get hi, back Mark. to some serious photography. Mark Nesta, cameraman. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a job. It's a job. I've been a key group in lighting tech for years. Jamie problem. Tiergen, lighting, lighting technician. This is Fliss. You don't often meet someone like that. Man, how do you even start? I like how they recycle I'm people. I'm sick of being on my own. That sounded wrong. Recycling. Sorry, do you start with qualifications or um? Erin like Keenan, info? engineer I I mean, of sound. Will anyone access this? I'm kind of private, actually. Uh, yeah, Charlie Lonnett, UK originally. I've uh, been here for 20 Charlie years. Charlie Lonnett, the, the director. was so on track, it was... Uh, what, uh, I've seen this guy. It was a before. very beautifully conceived and... Um, didn't quite uh, uh, hit the mark as I was. That's some ominous music, yo. It's a fucking mess, to be honest with you. I think we've heard quite enough. Enough? <laughs> oh, I've barely begun, Your Honor. This is a flashback. You don't seem to understand. Oh. I was born with the devil in me. I could not help the fact that I was a murderer any more than a poet can help the inspiration to sing. That's the guy who played Daniel in Very the Bury deep, your honor. That's Make Jason? sure they fill my pine box with From cement. Put me deeper than anyone House of Ashes. else. And cover the ground with more cement, cause trust me. Just being dead ain't enough to stop me from killing again. On May 7th, 1896, Herman Mudgett, a.k.a. Henry H. Holmes, was sent to the gallows. Mudgett. His neck did not My snap from Mudgett. the force of hanging. I'll change it. Records indicate he hung, slowly suffocating for over 15 minutes, until finally the monster was dead. Gosh, the America's are so first good on serial this. killer confessed to 27 murders, but his investigators sifted Way through the traces the he left behind following his path from city oh, to up. city, the number grew significantly. Nearly 200 lives. America's so first out. serial killer and possibly the worst. He was buried as requested under concrete. Was he hoping to hide from God's judgment? Or did he truly want to keep the devil from climbing out and killing again? So, what do you think? <clears throat> okay, I think that that director guy is from Little To be Hope. honest, Charlie, he's Andrew at this the is end a when he's like, Hold that thought. Lonnie Entertainment. Charles Lonnie, please. Speaking, Charlie is fine. My name is Grantham Dumet. What can I do for you, Mr. Dumet? Actually, it's what I can do for you. Ooh. Hear me out. I'm certainly grateful to you, Mr. <clears throat> Dumet. This all sounds amazing, but I, uh, I just, I'm waiting to hear what the catch is. No offense. None taken. I'm in a privileged position. I don't need for much, but my time is at a premium. We need to do this today. I'll send a car for you this afternoon, 4 p.m. Be ready. This afternoon? We're talking a couple of days shoot. I've told my team they're free this weekend, and frankly, they're a temperamental bunch. Without them, this conversation is dead in the water. We, uh... I've told you what I have. Please don't waste my time. Am I sending the car or not? Yes, of course, we're in. I'll so, get them there. A lot of these Let's people have appeared in the other ones. Okay, so these are bearings. 
Mr. Dumet, I presume. Secrets. I'm playing as Charlie, so it looks like I can play as Charlie, Aaron, Jamie, Kate, or Mark. Mr. Dumet send you. We. Right. Let's load up, guys. I got it. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> Sorry. Are you? We'll get I mean, on each other's nerves. This is that ring light that makes you all glowy. We leave it behind it. Right. You're right. This is going to be grand, people. Adventure. <laughs> Excitement. Anyone? Road trip. Huzzah. Woohoo. Hooray. This is going to be great, guys. Adventure. Excitement. The Jedi craves not these things. So do we know where we're going exactly? You don't like surprises. You know what this reminds me of? Don't say it. Topeka. Exactly. Me, no money in my pocket, a dead phone, and lost in the middle of goddamn Topeka. That wasn't my fault. It was 100% your fault. Because you fly by the seat of your ass. So, the come on, Charlie. Ass. What do we know about this guy? He's rich, he's a recluse, he's obsessed with H.H. Holmes. Totally sane, I'm sure. We're going to a property he inherited from a relative. That's who had the obsession with Holmes. They should have called Some him Triple H. Some of the are full recreations from the murder castle. Dumet has blueprints, documents, Dumet. artifacts. When I said this would save the show, I was not exaggerating. And you substantiated all of this? Just trust me. Sorry for all the mystery. Before we go any further, I have to ask that we lock up your phones for safekeeping. While this may sound strange that I invite you to film the collection inside my home, I cannot allow any personal devices that Is may share information that can affect about my this? business or lifestyle. There are rules. Yeah, all footage you my to phone? Must be authorized by me first. I require privacy and discretion. I must insist. His place, his rules. Look, what he's offering us is worth it. Could be making us pay, but he isn't. If this is all he asks, then we do. Fine. For the show. I'm telling you, this is going to be great. You said that in Topeka. What happened in Topeka, I want to know. I want to know, you bastards. These kind of games, you know, normally I like to talk and just never shut up. It makes it hard for me to talk. No, really. I got it. Thanks, bro. Don't sweat it. Jackass. She's doing the heavy lifting. Old mate setting up the camera. I don't really remember anyone's name. Mark, Charlie, Kate, okay. Aaron. All right, I remember everyone's name. Fuck. So now what? I'd love to get some footage of the lake and the scope of this. Not with all the mist and fog. There, from on high, we'll get a better look. That's certainly the... um, up there. Some footage. But the visuals will be great. We can frame up over the mist. Charlie, oh, shut up, you'll hack up a lung before you're halfway up there. I'm fit as a butcher's dog. Mark, Maybe. this is crazy. But we'll be fine. Let's go, Charlie. Be careful, guys. Nice knowing you. Come on. At least I don't have to push R2 to walk forward. Climb? Really? Want to use the fucking stairs, yo? Oh, they bust. Oh, I'm fine. Whatever. The controls are always weird. And there's always one button to walk fast. Oh, he jogs now instead of the uh, brisk trot. Look at him go. Look, I just want to investigate before I go up in there because there's always fucking hidden things and the curator wants me to find... This is taking too long. ...little, like, fucking trinkets to send to him. So he gives me clues. I guess we climb up here. Like it wanted me to. Uh, 
Give us a hand. Hey, guys, hurry up. We're on it. Oh, fuck. I guess I got a jog then. Why am I jogging? Cause I'm as fit as a butcher's dog. What? That is loud. It's meant to be heard from miles away. Well, yeah, I know that in theory, but. Uh... Oh, so much for plan A. We must be able to work our way around. Come on. Warning. Anything for erosion. A shot, right? These cliffs are subject to erosion too and may collapse into deep about water. everything falling into the ocean. I'm gonna say we trusted him not die. Nah, this sign is something the lawyers made them put up. I'm sure it's fine. Hard disagree. Yeah, I disagree too, but let's jump down here. It's where it's gonna make us wanna get down. Like, you know. Listen, Mark, I just wanted to say, um, thanks for backing me up, man. What? About getting this footage? No, for the whole trip. You know some of the crew can be challenging. To work with. Jamie and Kate would never have agreed to come if you hadn't been on board. I figured that the episode was such a mess, we needed all the help we could get. Right. Yeah. I guess well, we did. He doesn't suffer from shin splints. Now they're jumping down and stuff. Right or left? What was the plaque here? Okay. I won't lie, I was hoping being here all remote and away from the world that maybe I'd have some downtime, some space to decompress. Downtime? Why would you want to do that? You know, relax a bit. I've never seen the attraction. In memory of the victims of the Great, That's storm, the great storm, May 1st, 1907, in which 187 lives were lost, the crew and passengers of the SS Cassiopeia which crashed into the rocks at the base of these cliffs. Take a picture of it, mate. <laughs> Alright, so we're going the right way, I think. I think we can leap across this. Do ourselves like a cliffhanger situation. Nice. Yeah. Do it again. Hey, uh. <coughs> There's a hole to the right, numb nuts. There you go. Oh, so you have to toggle the old liner. Hey, when we wrap, I'd like to take a couple weeks off and go see my family. I need you in post. I really appreciate that discerning eye of yours, you know. I've got a lot going on at the moment, Charlie. Oh, right, yeah, of course, sure. Take a couple of weeks. Yeah, together. I appreciate it. I'll be fine in post on my You should do the same. Take some time out. You got any family you can go and bother? Oh, well. No, Mrs. Lonnet, you got hiding in some closet somewhere? Married to the job. Married to the job. <laughs> How's that marriage working out? Well, from what I hear about real marriages, pretty damn good. <laughs> Married to Press the X to bounce across rocks or fallen trees. Gosh, I don't even know what I did then. Whether I was moving the right way or not. Move your ass, Mark. Seriously. Break into a trot again. Squeeze through. Oof, you're corpulent. You would not fit through there. It's like a little pipe. Don't get caught on that. A rotund fellow. Oh, you dirty. Christ, what the hell is that? Sorry, I didn't mean you to know, say that. Just Fucking hell. Out. Maybe Fuck. it's part of some old museum display or something. You right. bitch. That's Fucking probably bitch. 
Oh god. <laughs> These fucking jump scares are happening during the day. They don't give a fuck. There's no way I'm keeping them alive. Let's just keep it real. Fucking hell. You coming? Yeah. Just looking at the light on the mist. How is that going to fit into the show? Just caught my eye. Come in. Always the photographer. I can't exactly turn it off. There's a lot of crossover between the creative stuff and the commercial stuff. Hmm. You sure about that? Because crossover with Kate hasn't exactly... We agreed been. to let that drop for the weekend. Just making sure your head's in the game. Right, I inspected the old rusty lock. Surely we'll find some sort of pipe to smash it with. I would. Oh. What's this thing? Examine. A piece of paper. Fish factory to close. Great Lakes Post. Exciting Fish times. factory to close. I'm just looking around, hoping that we get some uh, excellent little clues. If you're wondering why, even though the graphics are amazing, why it's a little bit jaggedy sometimes, that's actually not my PC or anything like that. I'm playing this on PS5, so I'm not sure why it's. It is uh, doing that, but it, the game is fairly new. So, probably some optimizations are required for this game. I swear to God, if I pop up and something fucking jumps at me, it's like some sort of dead thing on the ground. Get up, man. You're well clear. Who is this thing? Oh, that feels like a, like a puma. It's tail hanging out. <coughs> go! <coughs> we got him. So used to pushing R2 to walk forward on freaking heavy rain, seriously. Ooh, what you got for me, crow man? This looks pretty old. Ooh. Charlie can use his tie clip to open lock boxes. Oh, one of them little tokens that the What's curator that? said. Just some old coin. Obbles can be used to unlock dioramas. Buy the penny, pick it up. You didn't find a penny and pick it up. You opened a lockbox with your tie clip. Look, and picked it up. sorry I give you a hard time now and again, but I really couldn't make these shows without you. That's not true. I may be driving this car. What car? The Lonnet Entertainment car, but you're the one who keeps the engine going. It's not how cars work. Jesus, you try and give someone a compliment. Thanks, Charlie. I get it. Let's see what's in the bin here. Oh. oh okay, so I can jump off this. I'm gonna need to push this. Pull this towards the uh, the window. So we're gonna get in. Not before I inspect this. And it's gonna say, "We can't get in. It's locked." Oh, surprise, surprise. Come on, Mark, let's go and fucking jump on this thing. Something's gonna jump scare me in here or try to kill me. How high up is it? Just a little breaking and entering. How are you not in jail? Just a little B and A. Oh, 
Christ, what the hell is that? Crew members might be spotted. Nice to meet you too. Premonition. Explosion. And that was from a painting or a picture on the wall. Nothing in the fridge. Nothing in the micro wall, they. Just need some fresh sheets, some nice drapes, and six gallons of sanitizer. Sometimes the camera's a little too close. Ah, I don't see what's on this side. Oh well, I guess we're going upstairs. That's where Mark's headed. Charlie, I'm getting an uneasy feeling about this. Whoa. Somebody has a taxidermy hobby. Relax. <laughs> Some hobby. No, that's not a hobby. They hung that shit in here, we're gonna die. What in God's name is this? It's like an electric bird. Ah! It moved. Jars. What? The thing. It moved. It's like an actuator in there. Wish I could zoom in on that. Scared me. Oh, I'm sick of getting scared already. Just stand away from those. Why is he breathing so heavy? Oh, there it is. It's your ladder. The ladder to climb. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. Some shots. Look at this. It's perfect. Come on, get shooting. I want you to pan across the lake until the island comes into shot. Then zoom into that lighthouse. Look, it's all right. Come on, we better get back. Don't make me walk all the way back. Let's just do a cutscene there. Okay. Sweet dear. That hey! I don't know. Yeah. What's that? We just had the one call. Not Brad. Uh, how did he know what our show was about in the first Michael place? Or in uh, Man of Madan. He was also in House of Ashes. Actually, I didn't ask. That's weird. Let's just play nice, okay? He's the one having the affair with Ashley Tisdale's character. Hello, Mr. Lonnet. That's me. I'm Grantham Demet. Everyone climb aboard and we'll head out. This is Mark. Mark. Erin, Jamie. Ladies. And this is Kate. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Dumet. I'm looking forward to seeing all it is you have to offer. We truly appreciate this. Lovely to meet you all. What say we get underway? Again, I really can't thank you enough. Barry. The crew meet Grantham Demet. For this opportunity. Pretty cool name. Of course. Was it your great uncle you said that? Um... Let's get to where we're going. I'll explain everything later. Sure. Of course. Sounds like an English alcoholic drink. Give us a little spot of Grantham Dumet, please. Hold the eyes. 
I take my grant from Dumet straight up. He's dodgy. He's dodgy. All right. Tell you what. That's somebody standing there. This is where we are going to leave this episode. Bam. Let's get up to the hotel. Uh, please, let's stay close. Stick together. Is it dangerous here? No. Oh, yes, Kate. Of course not. You sure? Because you don't seem sure. It's perfectly safe, but we are a long ways from help if somebody gets hurt, so please, take care. Looks like things have buttoned up tight around here, God. Yeah. This way, don't worry about your bags, I'll make sure they're brought. That's why I'm gonna push poles. Whew, scared me twice already got me feeling incredibly uneasy um you wouldn't have known this by seeing the video you would have seen a little cut scene but i had to cut out a sneeze um you know this this has had everything this video um and a, a lovely gentleman by the name of grantham Dumet, as well who doesn't talk like that but i imagined he would um i hope you are enjoying this so far these dark pictures anthology games are great except for man Madar, but mostly they're great and uh, I, I love the way that this one is already starting out. And I love the way how smooth it is. And the graphics already look a lot better than the quarry. So I've got big and high hopes. If you do too, give this video a like, subscribe, comment. If you have an issue with it, comment as well. Not a problem. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch as well, where I stream three times a week. Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, twitch.tv forward slash the no good game. I do Thriller Thursdays, which is a horror game, multiplayer games on saturday and then sunday i do community games 18 plus super fun feel free to join in that's twitch.tv forward slash the no good game you can also interact with me on instagram at the no good game go and give me a follow there thank you so much for watching i'll see you on the next one